Hey guys, Dasker here. This is the rebroadcast of the Level BF 10v10 tournament. This is V2 versus Exertus, round one on this map, Rogue Transmission. Swap. And there we go. Here we go. It's live, guys. We see three, three buggies being utilized by Team Exertus. We have two buggies going... Uh, on right side of Alpha, we have one going for Alpha. No, both going for Charlie Point. Or Bravo Point, excuse me. Yep. What do you see? And up to the bottom of the dish, and it looks like we got one buggy for V2 uh -oh. heading along the road trying to get to Charlie, but he's got two tanks in front of him. I think Supreme is in for a surprise here. Going to Supreme. Uh oh. Get out of there, Supreme. Four oh, man spawn bomb Charlie. on him. Mass NG spawn bomb gonna try to take on these tanks. A five man push onto Charlie. They really want that helicopter. We do see an EMP in the area, so that's why I'm. I, it looks kind of uh, off, but the Exertus tank does go down. Charlie is being taken by V2. They do have the helicopter up, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get away from the. EMP so that you guys can see a little bit easier. That helicopter goes up. It's running. Though look at all the uh, all the fires that it's that are being shot at it. It's already on fire. It's already down. All that effort to take Charlie is for loss. It's a two and two hold. There are four flags total. So uh, so right now nobody really getting the burn. Not uh, 398, 397. I'm going to see them kind of feel things out here for a little bit before perhaps making a move. And it's interesting you said they, ex they kind of exerted a lot of effort to get that chopper but didn't really get much of a payoff from it. But, you know, maybe keeping it out of the enemy hands was enough. Yes, at the same time, we have Godfold and Lameface on the AC-130 pummeling Charlie. They see some landmines blowing it up all while a, uh, a tank for Exertus, in this case uh, ICM-14 pushing on a Charlie. Killing the mines. It's and he's going to jump out. It's 398 to, to 390. EMP, unfortunately, is still bugging out like crazy. So, Yeah, I really don't like that effect. No, Hopefully that's I don't. something they but it adjust. Is a, it is a bug they are adjusting. Oh, to Jado, though. Jado dies the moment I look at him. At the same time, Phantom is on uh, Delta Point. It's two on two. The bleed is neutralized right now. Does he see them? Maybe. V2 uh, is a team that's been around in the Battlefield franchise for several years. I remember them being around five, six years ago uh, during Battlefield 2 days. And they were definitely highly active in the Battlefield 3 scene, both in you know, oh, small yes. formats and in the larger formats. Yes. So they're definitely a seasoned team with a, a lot of Battlefield veterans. Yes. We have Radar, who is trying to dogfight the other jet. He's already smoking a little bit, but he's okay for right This now. is not looking good for V2. It's looking like we're going to see a quad cap from Exertus. Radar does take out the enemy A-10. You may have noticed, guys, that it's, it's a, it, it is U.S. versus U.S. side. This is for us trying to keep it even in terms of balancing. And if you look at the stats, they're just, just heavily out-fragging V2 right now. Although frags don't matter as much in, in this Conquest format as they do in Domination, but see those squads 12 and 2, 9 and 3, 5 and 1, as opposed to they've got Alpha Squad for V2 going 0 and 8 or 0 and 6 right now, 2 and 14, 3 and 9. Yes, V2 getting highly out -fragged. V2 pushing on Bravo and on Char at the same time. And but but this is you are right. This is not looking good for uh, V2. Jiggity goes down, going to sky. He is still fighting on Charlie. A good hit, a good nine degree hit in the sides. That is good damage against the tanks, but needs to keep on doing it. That tank backing up, now Sky is exposed, he's going to start taking hits, down to 70, 14, and he goes down, he's taken out by that tank. Like we got uh, somebody trying to flank for Exertus, I think it's Supreme on a buggy. 
It is Supreme. He's nice. on the far side of the dish, but I do think they see him. It looks like he's trying to get all the way around, potentially go to that A point as he's bypassing Bravo. Yes. This could be a good help for them if they can get the spawn bomb. Yeah, Maple Weed pushing on Charlie goes down. Guys, remember, in this, we don't have any rules for this, but one of the rules we do have is no MBT law. No MBT law. Killjoy's using it, but he, uh, he has stopped since then. Um, we'll still play the round through, but guys, no MBT law. Vance goes down. 391 to 299, 100 ticket lead nearly at the same time. We do see a back spawn on, uh, with Jado and Supreme going to Jado, uh, taking, trying to get in the high ground. This high ground is really nice, but I'll tell you, the helicopters are, and it can continuously take you out, and Jado trying real hard to not be seen, but already taking damage, <laughs> taken out super easy. Yeah, I think that was a bit of a mistake trying to go up there on that on that scaffolding. He kind of exposed himself to both the AA and the helicopter, and it looks like they are on to Supreme as well. Yes. Now, nice to meet Zero One is utilizing a setup that we are now seeing more and more in the competitive scene. This is a a mobile AA that's designed for anti-infantry and a little bit of anti-vehicle. 30 millimeter cannons are very effective against infantry and uh, to lesser extent vehicles. They're not as good against air vehicles, but when you have air superiority, you, you change your loadout to the mobile AA to the 30 millimeter cannons with Zuni rockets. Zuni rockets are good area effect damage. He's using active protection and reactive uh, active protection allows you to get out faster. Need. And he's playing pretty well on this alpha point. He's just being defensive for his team, which you know, paid off well when they had that quick flank by V2 and a bit of a spawn bomb there. It made fast work of those guys. Yes. I do like the fact as we go back to... Let's go to that. We see Alpha Bravo being held by V2, although it's being contested by... Uh, Exertus is contesting Bravo. Like they got three there. Phantom, Jiggity, and... Oh, no, it looks like Phantom, Revo, and Bambi. Ooh, maybe almost eats a rocket there. <laughs> he does. Exert is still in the flag cap, going to third person. Use an HE shell and an HMG. Here's the rationale. Now, guys, for those that don't know, there are three different types of shells that you can utilize within the main battle tank. HE, Sabo, and AP. Now, take all the knowledge you have about, about what the shells actually do in real life aside. Here's how it works. Sabo shell is the fastest shell in, 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 in terms of velocity and has the least drop. However, it doesn't do that much damage in terms of splash, and it does a, a good amount of damage against vehicles. AP is the middle ground. It has a little bit lower or uh, lower velocity compared to the Sabo, uh, it has a little bit more drop, but what it does allow you to do is do a little bit more damage uh, in terms of area effect against infantry. Will they get a shot? No, ICM does take them out against the with, with the HMG. AP is a good balance. HG, on the other hand, is, is the closest thing you're going to get to in terms of, uh, of uh, a sort of a traditional Battlefield 942 feel to it. The HE shell has the slowest velocity and the highest arc, and so it's like throwing a, a football and, and as opposed to shooting a gun. You have to uh, compensate for that arc and for that, that, uh, that velocity, slow velocity that does uh, get uh, attributed with it. However, it does the most damage to vehicles and it has the most splash damage to infantry. Uh, a lot of people like the Sabo to attack uh, uh, air targets and things like that, but HE is pretty damn good too. We did see a jet go down. I think I see him did get the kill on that. He is a. Uh, we're seeing the. What's I was going to say, we're seeing the the uh, tanks for Exertus do a nice job on the high road. They've kind of committed most of their attention to C, but they do kind of push over to Alpha occasionally to get some pot shots from the high ground there, as it looks like we got the EMP in again. Yeah, we have EMP on, in two different areas. Uh, I'm trying to go to an area where it's not being seen. <laughs> Escape the EMP! I can't. Oh, I got it now. Jiggity is, uh, is pushing uh, onto Bravo. They have graded out in their favor. And despite being four capped, V2 has at least been able to keep the burn even for the past five or so minutes, you know, maintaining two flags. But they need to get the burn at some point. They need to get to three, three flag, potentially four flag advantage. But it's that's a tall order against this seasoned Exertus team. Yeah, they do have a 130 ticket advantage for Exertus. 
going to a <laughs> bit of an RPG war down at Bravo. <laughs> there, there is, but but this EMP is just so frustrating, guys. I had to push escape button constantly just to just to take it off. There it goes away. Um, some people asked, uh, is AP staff allowed? I think a staff is allowed. I don't think anyone said it wasn't allowed. Um, mess, are, did you? I only thought the MBT law was banned. No staff. Staff is allowed. Am I right? I believe that's the case. I will double check in the rule set. MBT. Uh, so the for the guys that don't know. Oh no, staff shell. It says uh, for the unlock restrictions. These items are not allowed. The MBT law, DLC weapons, active radar missiles, SOFLAM, and the staff shell. The staff shell is not allowed. I'm surprised SOFLAMs uh, are not allowed, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> staff, so for those that don't know, the staff AP shell or staff any shell combo means that you can do a massive amount of damage against vehicles because... You can, just like how the, uh, the canister shot worked in BF3 pre, uh, you know, pre, what, armored kill patch, or something around those lines, uh, you could shoot them simultaneously and not have a problem. And V2 is uh, looking to contest Delta, looking to finally get a three-flag advantage here. It looks like that's Killjoy over there. He's up in the building. Just for Bro, I don't think you're right. I think that... that the AP shell doesn't have the most splash damage. It may have the most splash radius, but HE, it does have the most splash damage. In fact, although when we have a break, we can find out. I like how that, wow, uh, that was actually really good. It, they, he put the MB, he put the, the M2 slam on it, it didn't go off, so he just shot it and it blew up. He did get run over, but I think that tank did go down. It, yeah, it certainly did. Um, that's some innovative stuff. Maybe it was reactive to get some of the damage for it. We will, though, in the break, go to the Synthic website and see for ourselves what they say. They are the authority when it comes to oh, what the, the various things do. They have the detail. They have the data. They put in the work. They do. A double... No, that was a double assist by ICM all while fighting against the tank. Uh, Cobbs Burra ends up getting the kill on it. Yeah, so you saw V2 was able to get the triple cap momentarily. They had Alpha, Bravo, and Delta, but the tank rotated down to Bravo for Exertus and took control of it, and it looks like they committed the chopper and the anti-air to Alpha. So once again, Exertus just responding to V2, nice rotations, and maintaining an over 100 ticket lead here in the first round. Uh, looking very strong so far. Yes. Divide is... Use, is using, uh, I believe it's thermals, is that right? Yeah, thermals, uh, as opposed to, and the TV at the same time. Does he get a shot off? Well, we've got two tanks for V2 heading down to Bravo. They're looking to take that back. Looks like it's Buck Wild and... And Huck. And Huck. And Huck. Ag team into Bravo. But the thing about that point is that it's pretty easy for engineer infantry to kind of hide in the buildings in the shadows with those RPGs. Really got to have a good 360 degree vision with your, your hopefully your gunner to keep from going down. Now we see at the same time that uh, we have ICM. I, I don't. Uh, his what would be his rationale for position, position this way? Uh, he could. He can man quickly maneuver back and forth so he gets out of the line of fire, but he's going to take more damage when he does get hit. Now, he does have a repair dude repairing him, and so it's not as if uh, that, that can't be considered as well. And we had a comment from Cheap Nub in the chat saying that the vehicle data on Symphic is a work in progress, so... Don't trust it. Perhaps not yet 100% trustable. Well, we will see. But I'm sure those guys would put that disclaimer out there. You know, they they know how much time and effort it, it takes to get real data and real uh, results. It is. ICM still holding up. Although I like the positioning that we see from Huck. Good positioning, using the rock to his advantage. But they're now two. It's a bit of a cat mouse game there. It is. Two another tank pushing up, but uh, that tank can be a bit too aggressive. He may have problems. Waiting for a reload on his, on his shells. This is a new dynamic within Battlefield 4. Uh, the tanks can't just hang out in an area and keep on shelling. They can run out of 
ammunition, and that's what happened in this case. I don't think you got a shot on that. Oh, and here comes EMP. Let's go. There it is again. Let's go up to Cobb's <laughs> oh, Let's go. The dreaded EMP. Oh, that's frustrating. Going to be nice to meet you instead. Wow, he is still here. He is uh, he is 14 and zero. Wow, just doing damage in that anti-air. Yes. Now that means that he he's is a high priority target. So the in theory, the enemy commander can indicate that he's a high priority target. What does that do uh, in the respect of of creating a, uh, a situation for the enemy team? Well, what it allows you to do is that when you create a high priority target, all your teammates can see that it's a high priority target on the map, regardless whether it's spotted or not. And I think the fact that he is such a high priority target is the reason he's kind of hanging back at Alpha for the most part. And he's done a good job of maintaining control of this flag almost on his own. I think a couple times when V2 committed, you know, several players and some armor to the point, he did need some reinforcements. But in general, it's just kind of just been nice to meet you, maintaining control of Alpha on his own. Yes. And here he can take some pot shots down on Bravo from the high ground as well as you see him rotating around the top side of the ish. Yeah, we do see nice to meet you. Now has the indication. You see this indicator, uh, the little blue triangle inverted. That means ah, yes. he is a high priority target. It means that anyone can see where he is because he killed all those dudes. He's saying, come on, guys, take this guy down. He's doing work on us. 15-0 and 0 right now as I think he was trying to take out the gunship. He was. Gunship is gone. Down goes the gunship. As V2 looking good here, they do have the triple cap, although Bravo is burning. Like, nice to meet you, is rotating down, taking some pot shots on the tank. E EMP is not a big yet, into guys, the EMP. Because, as you can see, it's still messing up. Doing some damage, putting Zuni rockets. Does get a vehicle disabled, does end up getting a, a kill assist against that tank. Very nice work by Nice to Meet You. Playing it safe, not venturing too far down in there, avoiding potential mines or, you know, infantry hiding in the yeah, buildings. We, we can give Just Repair Me Bro mod to post links, but someone else can have to do it. I can't do it. Someone else do it. One of the level production guys, hook, hook him up. Yeah. Hopefully. Hook a fella up. V2's A10 oh, does get taken out. Got ICM sitting at 14 and 0, and I believe he's been in the tank pretty much the entire match, hanging out at Charlie right now. That's yeah. kind of been his pushing his it, location. It back up. Exertus though still has a 120 ticket lead. They are uh, capturing Charlie slowly, but there are a lot of guys around them. Now, for your own information, guys, when you, as a commander, put an HPV. Oh, is he getting shot from the back? Look, there's two guys behind Yeah, from there. behind. Let's go in. They're spawn bombing on the mountain. Let's go and, and check this out. Look at that spawn bomb. Back shots, back shots. But the Viper is coming back. The Viper is going to try to clear them out. Yeah, chopper's onto him. That's uh, got hold. Just kind of hovering right behind him. Oh, yeah. here. Oh, and they get annihilated. Oh, here comes the Jihad <laughs> Jeep. The Jihad Jeep. Will it be able to make it? No, uh -oh. it didn't. God holds on to him. He's dead. He died. He's... <laughs> I think that was a nice idea by V2 to try to get behind those tanks at sea. You know, they had the high ground there. If they had enough NGs, they could potentially take one, maybe two of them out. But nice play by God hold with the Viper just to hang out right behind him and not... Basically, keep him honest. They couldn't get any good shots off on the tank. Yes. It's yeah. still even right now. I'm going to go and check this out on... B, we do see V2 pushing real hard. We have Buck Wild in the tank, a two-person repair crew, a lot of dedication, but one does get run over. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Buck Wild just peeking from behind the building. Oh, I think he got double, maybe triple rocketed. No, just for everybody, you can post that Reddit link, but I want to see the Synthic link. Thank you. Give me that link. Don't give me the other link. There it is. I want the, Go to the source. I want the source. I don't want exposition. I don't want a middleman. So Exertus EU has moved on to almost a 150 ticket lead here in the first round. And it's just been a, a tale of, of good play, good rotations by them. They, they obviously come in with a plan. They know what they're doing. And despite some 
solid efforts and rotations by V2. Exertus maintaining a comfortable lead. You know, we are 20 minutes in, but but when we have a two-on-two two, uh, flag situation like, oh, is he going to put a uh, landmine down? They got run over. Did he? Let's go. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Bambi got a uh, a rocket facial. Oh, and he eats an aid and goes down. Going to to radar from Exertus, pounding Delta. We're looking for it. Radar right now is um, twelve and one. Twelve and one in the Warthog. Using thirty millimeter, a JDAM bomb. It's a JDAM, guys. You don't need to say it. JDAM. It's JDAM. It's not a. Someone said to me yesterday that it was a. Uh, what? How did they pronounce it? Uh, a Jadam or something. Or Jadam? A Jadam? Jadam. Jadam? I scream asked, are those Astros from the London event? No, they're not. Uh, I actually already gave mine away. In a previous low BF match. Uh oh! Is that a. Oh man, is that going to be a. Uh, that's, a that's a Jihad Jeep. Jihad Jeep. I got to Here he comes. Let's go get to it. Looks like he's got his eye on ICM. Oh, uh, will he be oh, able? No, where's he going? Where, oh, he's a, he's a, is he a, well, he's a, has a little bit of damage on him, and he's oh. gonna go down. Oh, he <laughs> uh, can't run away from the helicopter. No way. No. I see you. Uh, see you. <laughs> yeah, really. That got hold. That's the same spot we saw him when he took out those flankers. He's kind of hanging out on the mountain above Charlie. But we do see V2 highly contesting that point as it looks like Vance goes down. Yes. Maple Weed taking pot shots from near the dish. Charlie will be held by Exertus. We do see V2 Supreme pushing up, but down 20% health. He is in trouble. What's he going to do as his engineer running the scar? Is that where it is? No. Like we He's might see Buck are. Wild push up in the tank to Charlie. Could see a showdown here between. Looks like they've got a tank and an AA there. V2 Supreme really hurting. We do see that one of the tanks has been posted as a as a high value target, but unfortunately, again, stupid EMP bug is frustrating. It looks like we could see another potential Jihad Jeep. V2 Jado leaving the spawn on the right side flank, heading towards the dish. Bravo. Not sure where he's heading. Looks like he's going to try to stay on the high road there. Teammate dropping off. He's in the dish now. It does take him out. Uh, ooh, well, is that is that a another Jihad Jeep? Yes, that's Jado. Heading towards Alpha. Maybe going to try to get a tank? Maybe. Could oh, we see I some luck? Oh, here's the AA. No, I can't. Oh, I'm, I'm bugged. Oh, he went over him. He went over him. Why did he do that? What, he ramped he over going? from the dish. Where, he's going for the tank. He's going for the tank. Will he get the tank? No! 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 Whew. Nice uh, awareness there by, I guess that was ICM, who is still... He's 20 and 0 right now. 20 mm -hmm. and 0. You got nice to meet you in the AA at 18 and 0. Yes. So the story of the match has been Exertus' armor just dominating this map in this been. round thus far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a bit of a Zerg by V2 on Bravo right now. It looks like there's four of them there getting a the burn. Trying to potentially burn some more tickets before the end of this round. They've only got 27 tickets remaining. Yes. And at this point, they're obviously not going to win the round, but they just want to whittle some tickets down to potentially come back in the second round. Yes. And this has kind of been the story, like, V2's been able to get the even Steven cap, you know, two apiece. But it's what they've done with that that's kind of lost the game for them. They haven't been able to get that third push as we look already. Looks like Lameface has taken Delta with the tank. That's right. And it looks like the, the other tank for V2, Dana Bravo, does not even see him. <laughs> the guy hops out to repair, Lameface is still taking shots on him. When he gets nailed from behind from the building, I think he did get immobilized. That was a critical hit. He's probably going to go down. He's got to hop out. Oh, yeah. 
Tanks down to 28 health. But he does have some help there. It looks like the NG might give him some repairs as he retreats. Now, guys, this is, uh... Now, from what I understand, this, we're actually supposed to have a 25-minute timer on this, and we're, oh, we're about to hit the 25-minute mark in 10 seconds. Interesting. No, I am hearing the music. No, so five seconds. I am hearing the music. Oh, there it is. But is the music because of the timer? Because well, yeah, they are tickets. Yeah, it's because they're... It is yeah, 284 right. to 12. I think that's what the final score should be. We need to make sure, though, that uh, that, that the server is configured correctly, because... Uh, I'm seeing 25-minute timer in the uh, in the actual rules. Double checking. Yeah, mess. Yes, round timer of 25 minutes will be in place. That is correct. So, Dasker, I think you're right with the ticket count there. We should definitely document that to make sure that yes we proceed accordingly and fairly let's, with this match. Yeah, let's um, could, could you would you kindly if you wouldn't mind go to the would uh, you kindly where have we heard that oh before? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a <laughs> reference. You, are you controlling my mind Dasko? Uh, I, and i don't even know it you suggestion could you check with the <laughs> the admins to make sure that we do have the appropriate timer set up this is the end of round one exertus wins by 283 we will switch sides stay tuned for round two but didn't really get much of a payoff from it but you know maybe keeping it out of the enemy hands was enough yes the same time we have godfold and lame face on the ac-130 pummeling Charlie. They see some landmines blowing it up, all while a, uh, a tank for Exertus. In this case, uh, ICM-14 pushing on a Charlie. Killing the mines. It's and he's going to jump out. It's 398 to, to 390. EMP, unfortunately, is still bugging out like crazy. On these tanks. A five-man push onto... Charlie, they really want that helicopter. We do see an EMP in the area, so that's why I'm. Uh, it looks kind of uh, off, but the Exertus tank does go down. Charlie is being taken by V2. They do have the helicopter up, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get away from the EMP so that you guys can see a little bit easier. That helicopter goes up. It's running though. Look at all the. Uh, all Hey guys, Dasker here. This is the rebroadcast of the Level BF 10v10 tournament. This is V2 vs. Exertus, round one on this map, Rogue Transmission. Swap. And there we go. Here we go. It's live, guys. We see three, three buggies being utilized by Team Exertus. We have two buggies going... Uh, on right side of Alpha, we have the fires that it's that's are being shot at it. It's already on fire. It's already down. All that effort to take Charlie is for loss. It's a two and two hold. There are four flags total. So, uh, so right now, nobody really getting the burn. Not, uh, 398, 397. You're going to see them kind of feel things out here for a little bit before perhaps making a move and it's interesting you said they, ex they kind of exerted a lot of effort to get that chopper one going for Alan no both going for Charlie point or Bravo point excuse me what do you see? heading up to the bottom of the dish and it looks like we got one buggy for v2 uh -oh. heading along the road trying to get to Charlie but he's got two tanks in front of him I think Supreme is in for a surprise here going to Supreme uh oh! Get out of there, Supreme. Four oh, man the spawn bomb on him. The mass NG spawn bomb gonna try to take.